How China's one small step could be a giant leap for humanity. The Asian giant has inched closer towards creating an artificial sun. Yes, you heard that right. An artificial sun. Human-made sun. China has set a new record by recreating the sun through fusion reactions. What's fusion? Fusion is the process of atoms combining to form heavier atoms and release a lot of energy in the process. China's achievement is a major step towards developing fusion power, which could give us unlimited clean renewable energy. So, fusion is a super cool way of making energy. What happens is the atomic nuclei combine to make a heavier atom and release a lot of energy in the process. The sun works the exact same way. With its gravity and pressure, the sun makes hydrogen isotopes fuse together and release super huge amounts of light and energy in the form of heat. Unlike fission, the reaction that happens in atomic and nuclear bombs where atoms separate from each other become unstable and release all kinds of radiation. Fusion is the complete opposite. This is atoms combining together to become a heavier atom and there's literally no wasted byproduct here. Where do scientists get the hydrogen needed from? Heavy water and irradiated lithium have enough hydrogen for scientists to carry out their work. This could change things because now we won't have to worry about greenhouse gases or rely on fossil fuels anymore. Different countries like the USA, China and Russia have been competing against each other like crazy to be the first ones to create their very own artificial sun. Creating something that works a lot like the sun isn't easy either since you're responsible for creating extreme heat, crazy pressure and magnetic tricks to keep this whole thing contained or else there are chances you might cause a huge explosion. These countries aren't holding back. They're going all in, pouring resources in hopes of being the first to make their fusion reactions be able to give out more energy than they take in. China has already left them behind with their artificial sun, East. Achieving fusion isn't so easy. It's very expensive and the process is extremely complex. To start a fusion reaction, you need a lot of heat and pressure. When we take the sun itself, for example, the core's got around 15 million degrees Celsius, but here on Earth, we have to supply a lot more energy. Scientists use all sorts of tricks to do that. One of their methods is to expose the plasma to electric currents. But other than supplying heat, scientists need help to keep the plasma under serious pressure, otherwise the fusion reactions won't happen. You need to keep magnetic containment in mind to control and stabilise the superheated plasma so that it doesn't collide with the walls of the fusion reaction. This is because of the fact plasma is highly energetic and can damage the reactor's walls if not properly contained. Another downside of fusion is that it usually takes in more energy than it gives out, so the end goal here is to cause a spark where the energy produced by the fusion reaction is more than the energy input required to maintain the reaction. The magnetic field of the Earth doesn't make it any easier, since the size and mass of the Sun are a lot more than Earth, and it has a gravitational force that's about 27 times stronger. Scientists need to figure out a way to compensate for the weaker Earth's core compared to the Sun's. Let's talk about the lab where China made its sun. China has been working on this fusion tech called the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or EAST for short. EAST is a donut shaped chamber that they use with insanely strong magnetic field to keep the super hot plasma contained. In there, the plasma reaches a temperature that is way hotter than the sun's core and they keep experimenting with fusion reactions to see if they can how things work inside the sun's core, if they can use it to produce a lot of energy. China has come a long way with EAST, considering they started back in 1996, but weren't able to start experimenting until 2006. Ever since then, they have been setting limits and setting world records for the plasma duration and temperature. This time they were able to reach up to 126 million degrees Fahrenheit for 17 minutes straight. 
The craziest part might be the budget China sets up for this lab. This East project has a budget of around 300 million Chinese yuan, which is about 37 million American dollars, all in a pursuit to find a way for cleaner, more abundant energy sources. East was able to make the sun in three steps. First is heating the hydrogen atoms. These hydrogen atoms are heated to extreme temperatures using radio waves, lasers, and electric currents to get them to vibrate so much they start moving and colliding against each other to fuse. The most common way of heating them is exposing them to radio waves at high frequencies, which go through the plasma and heat those atoms from the inside out. Laser can do that too, but they're not as effective as the radio waves. Why the heat? Fusion only happens when atoms are moving at speed. So East increases the temperature to around 126 million degrees Fahrenheit, or 70 million degrees Celsius, which is five times hotter than the sun's core. Maybe the hardest part of the whole process is confining the plasma in this donut-shaped chamber. Because of the insane temperature of the plasma, it can escape any container in no time. And this is where the electromagnetic field of this donut-shaped chamber comes in. The tokamaks are getting bigger and more powerful to keep the plasma inside for a longer time. The electromagnetic field lines in a tokamak are made by wrapping coils around the chamber and the strength of this magnetic field depends on how much current is going through these coils. So, up till now we know hydrogen atoms fuse but did you know when they do helium is produced? Along with helium lots of energy is produced too. Since helium is lighter than the two hydrogen atoms, and when they combine, the extra mass just transforms into pure energy. How much energy, you ask? Scientists say the energy released from fusion is almost 10 million times more powerful than what we get from burning fossil fuels, and believe fusion is the key to an endless supply of clean energy. What does this mean for China? The energy from the artificial sun can help China break free from its dependence on fossil fuels for energy generation since China needs a lot of energy because of its economy and huge population. Right now they have to rely on stuff like coal, oil and natural gas as its downsides. Coal and oil are terrible for the environment. Burning fossil fuels let out all kinds of greenhouse gases that mess with our climate. China's heavy use of coal in particular has made it one of the top countries worldwide to emit greenhouse gas. Then there are concerns of fossil fuels running out and that news isn't good for China in the long run since they've got a lot of industries to run. China has geological issues too. When China has to import fuel from other places, there's the risk of supply issues and price fluctuations. Now, with China's way of getting energy through fusion, they don't have to worry about supply and fluctuating prices anymore. It's great for China's economy by reducing its expense of getting energy, since fusion is supposed to provide a nearly limitless and sustainable source of power. All you need is readily available sources like heavy water and lithium. Apart from China, energy from fusion is good for our planet too, since it doesn't spit out any nasty greenhouse gases or leave behind radioactive waste. This will open up so many jobs for people in the future. Developing fusion tech means pushing the boundaries of science and engineering. We're talking about some major breakthroughs in materials, superconducting technologies and more. This will lead to a demand in the job market for more skilled workers. With all the research, development and building of fusion reactors, we'll need some serious brain power, which is great news for all those physics, engineering and material science students and job seekers out there. What do you think about China's artificial sun? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be always updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching, see you again soon in another video.